Okay, so this uh, video is about balancing a redox reaction in acidic solution. Now the problem always starts with a skeleton reaction which has the main chemical species involved in the reaction, okay? It's not balanced and the first thing that you need to do is you need to break this into half reactions, okay? And the way you do that is like this. You look at one of the chemicals, you say, okay, this has chromium in it, and you have chromium over here, so if you pull those both out, there's a pretty good chance that this is going to be the beginning of one of the half reactions. This has nitrogen in it, this has nitrogen over here, so we've pulled those out, and that's going to be our other half reaction. Notice that I'm not paying attention to the oxygens, I'm not paying attention to the hydrogens, I'm really focusing on all of the non-hydrogen, non-oxygen elements because that's really where the action is. The other things we will worry about later, the oxygen and the hydrogen we will worry about later. Now, <coughs> the first step after you've done this is to balance those non-hydrogen, non-oxygen atoms. So we have two chromium over here, so we need to make this two chromium right there. After that, you balance the oxygens and the way you do that is you add water because all of these things occur in aqueous solution and so we can kind of make water do whatever we want when we're doing this. It sounds like cheating but this is actually how it works. The water does play a role in the reaction and that's where these oxygens end up. Okay, so we need seven water molecules in order to balance out those seven oxygens right there. Now, <coughs> remember, in aqueous solution, in anything that has water in it, there are also going to be hydrogen ions <coughs> floating around and hydroxide ions. Now, in this case, we need to balance out the hydrogens with, hyd with uh, uh, H plus ions because this is acidic solution, so that's really what we have a lot of floating around in acidic solution. So we need to have 14 uh, hydrogen ions, and so there we go, done. All right, now, after we have gotten to this point, what you need to do is balance the charges in each of these reactions, on each side of the reaction, I should say. So on this side, you have two times positive three is positive six. That's the total charge on this on the uh, product side of this half reaction. Over here you have 14 positive minus two, so a total of positive 12. So this has positive 12, this has positive six. So we need to make these balance, and the only way that you can do that is by adding electrons. So if we add six, electrons to that side of the equation, then we have negative 6, negative 2, positive 14, so we end up with positive 6 total on this side and positive 6 total on the other side. Okay, so this half reaction is done. Next, you do exactly the same thing for the other half reaction. The nitrogens are already balanced, so we don't need to worry about that. We need to do the oxygens next by adding in one water molecule to balance the oxygens. Then we balance the hydrogens and we need to add three hydrogen ions in order to balance out the three hydrogens over here. Next we balance the charges. We have positive three and negative one for a total of, of positive two over here charge over here is zero, so we need to reduce this side with two electrons. So now uh, we have negative three and positive three, zero and zero. Okay, so the half reactions are now complete. Now notice that this bottom half reaction produces two electrons, and this top half reaction uses up six electrons. So whatever uh, the number of electrons that are produced down here has to match the amount used up. So this reaction, in other words, needs to produce more electrons. So the way we do that is multiplying everything by 3 because we ultimately need 6 
electrons to be produced by that. So change the coefficients. Multiply by 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, now we can recombine the two half reactions. And so the way you do that is you just simply take all of those reactants, add them on, and you take all of these products and you add them on as well. Okay, so these are now on the product side. Okay, now that you have this, I know that this is a little bit awkward because uh, the line isn't long enough here, but everything down here, these are all products. Okay, now you cancel out everything that appears on both sides, and this should make it look a little bit neater. So we sh have six electrons on both sides. Get rid of those, get rid of those, and we have 14 hydrogen ions, 9 hydrogen ions, so if we get rid of those 9, 14 minus 9 is 5, and we also have 7 waters and 3 waters, so these 3 are going to leave, and 7 minus 3 is 4, and now we should be done. Okay, so let's just double check, make sure that everything balances out on both sides. Let's check the hydrogens to begin with. Five hydrogens, three hydrogens, a total of eight hydrogens. Four times two is eight. Two chromiums, two chromiums, good. Oxygen, seven oxygen plus six oxygen is 13 oxygen. And we have over here three times 3 is 9, plus 4 oxygen is 13 oxygens, and we have 3 nitrogens and 3 nitrogens, and so we are done.